Hello and welcome to this video. I have to create this video basically just to explain how the plugin works. Now so far um, you had to add basically up here the name, uh, the um, page you have created um, within your Facebook uh, fan page. That's the one you have created. You have to add it. So stop the world. That's, that's the um, page name basically and you can view that which is up here. So you need it just to select that and then uh, we'll be ready to go. Another thing after afterwards, if you, you had to follow step by step, since I'm not logging into your Facebook account and I'm not logging into your uh, Facebook uh, page, basically I cannot access that. However, when we look at the, um, uh, well, the guides basically is being given in here, it says very clearly, basically, the steps you should follow just to create that. It's easy basically, it just says um, click on this link. Once you go there, you need to register. And remember, you need to add your own website URL uh, when you register with this. You need to tell basically this particular app that you are creating with Facebook, uh, the URL of the website you're gonna use uh, basically with, the, with this particular plugin. I'm talking about the Facebook uh, plugin, which you have installed into your WordPress. And then it just, you know guides you basically to go through and to create this one now i'm not sure if you have done this yourself if you have it looks like since you have basically um the application id and, and um, application secret key since you have that basically i do um think you have completed this successfully so if you've done it basically it's all, all there and ready to go so in the end you need to log in into the uh, Facebook account which you have created the app. Once you do that, you need to authorize. Just click the authorize and then you need to connect. By authorizing, basically you are connecting this particular plugin with your Facebook app, the one you have created yourself. So you are authorizing that, you are given permission to uh, grab content or to pass content between uh, Facebook and your blog. Um, so you need to do that anyway. The details in here, I have checked them uh, with your image, the one you have provided to me, and it looks absolutely correct. So there's nothing wrong with that, basically. It's all there. You just needed, uh, you had this one wrong, your uh, Facebook uh, page, shall we call it, uh, you, the, the one you have created though, and um, it looks fine so far. Uh, the rest of settings is easy. So now it says publish WordPress page to Facebook you put it no, but you need to put it yes. So if you want to post something into your Facebook, uh, into your WordPress blog, I'm sorry, then you need to select it yes, because um, a portion of your post will go directly into your Facebook fan page. And there basically it's like you're telling your user that um, you have created a new post in your blog and you want them to check out your blog. So you need to um, put this as yes. Uh, publish WordPress post to Facebook. Again, yes, which is fine. Select post categories for auto publish. You can, if you want to, it's option. Uh, default selection of uh, auto publish while editing post pages. I think I will leave it as a yes myself instead of no. Um, apply for this during publishing. Uh, you can type in uh, title, content, and the rest. Enable future to publish hook. Uh, I'm not really sure I do understand this one, what exactly they're trying to say about that. Enable credit link to author you can enable this one it depends if you publish all the content yourself then you can just put no but if you um, copy from somewhere else then you need to add it as yes enable premium version ads i've got no idea about this one however you put it as a yes and then in the end just click on update so now just make sure you log into facebook uh, account the one you have created the app as i mentioned click on authorize and it should connect. If you have any problem, basically uh, the uh, it will be a problem then you haven't set up this one properly. I'm talking about the page when you have created, you may, may of, um, you may have to go to Facebook uh, 
uh, app, the one you have created, basically, you need to go there and, and, and probably you need to give a permission from there. Uh, and you, you check out that that is your URL and you know, it tells you if the plugin has been connected because you, when you authorize this particular plugin to connect with your fan page, that means it should show on your Facebook, uh, uh, well, in, in your Facebook page, it should show that, that you have connected, certain website has been connected, it's going to show the URL of your website, and then you, you may disconnect it from there, you may connect it, you may give permission, different type of permission, and once you do that, basically the block is fully connected, and then everything will go just on, you know, unless fa Facebook doesn't do anything by, uh, I'm thinking if you find something which, um, it breaks their own um, TOS, then basically they may, uh, um, I'm saying, remove your account or, or give you a warning or something like that. Otherwise, I have, I mean, I haven't seen this and if they happen to somebody else, but I'm just saying sometimes uh, Facebook and, and many other sites, they don't really like the automated plugins. I'm talking about the automated plugins because this one is just, whenever you publish new content into your um, blog, it's going to automatically um, publish some of this content basically to your um, fan page as well. So that's, that's the reason, you know, sometimes they may not like. I've used some other plugins I've used in the past. They works very well. I think uh, I've seen this one as well. This one, it looks a bit more that you need to do some work before you go there. However, um, so far, it looks like you, you have set up this one and then... Uh, uh, it says here you have to create a Facebook application before filling out the um, following details. Click here to create a Facebook application. I believe you have created this one. And then in the application page in Facebook, navigate to apps. So in the application page in Facebook, it says you have to go to the Facebook, to the page you have created after, after you have created. And then you go to apps, you go to settings, you go to edit settings, a website, you click on website and then you add the your site URL. Uh, that's that's what I mentioned. This is the connection between Facebook fan page and your own blog as well. So as far as you make this connection, then everything will go fine. Now, once you do everything, everything what it says in here, then basically you click on authorize. The rest of the details, as far as I can see in here, they are absolutely correct and no issue with that. Authorize it. I mean, if I click it myself, it will just bring error because I'm not, I haven't created myself this particular app. You have done it yourself, but when you are logged in, it shouldn't bring an error. If it brings error, let me know, then uh, maybe we can go from that. I mean, for me to be able to um, complete everything myself, I may have to log in into your um, uh, Facebook account. And in that case, I have to go to... Um, this particular page which you have created and then make the changes myself but probably you don't want to do that because uh, Facebook account is a personal for everyone so I don't I don't ask you to do that however I'm, I'm a guy which I guarantee you a million percent that I will never abuse uh, uh, anything I, I create myself I, I actually uh, want to bring customers uh, to, uh, towards you know placing orders of course and not just ignoring me and forgetting forever in that case like now you know i have uh, logins into your wordpress blog and i still never mess about i i actually suggest everyone that once i complete the job they should just go and uh, change uh, logins basically so even i don't get access uh, in the future i'm saying thanks for watching this video i thought i should just instead of if i create a video i'll explain a couple of things and you go better understand about this particular plugin However, if you still got issue, um, then I will check out uh, fully. But I, I have to have access basically to the Facebook fan page for me to be able to basically do the full collect, um, connection myself. Um, but if you follow my guide, the one I just um, show you in this particular video, then it shouldn't be any problem. I believe if the plugin works, if the plugin works and doesn't have any issue, you should be able you know, to um, activate this one. Um, by clicking authorize it should show that authorization has been successful something like that it should show in a green instead of in a red that means that the plugin which you have installed this uh, facebook auto publish has been connected successfully with your um, fan page or your app and that means that um, you know now you can go and publish new posts and then 
portion of that post, as I mentioned, will directly be uh, published into your um, fan page. So th that's how it works anyway. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps. Um, helpful. I'm gonna mark the job as, as done. Um, maybe I haven't done it a lot, but with this 10 bucks uh, you've paid anyway, if you want some other service, I'll just give you for free basically and I won't charge you anything else. So let's say if you want some, I got some great plugins for your, for your blog if you want to. Um, I, I'm just going to check. Basically, you don't have one plugin which is absolutely is the best one out there. It's an auto-spinning plugin. What it does is that you can copy any content from anywhere you want to and just publish into your website. And then they out uh, that particular plugin which I have is gonna auto spin that content and create unique article for your blog. Is that is like you wrote that particular uh, uh, post yourself? Um, it will just spin and change the words. And uh, basically, if if you own that plugin, it costs around thirty bucks. But I'm just gonna install it absolutely for free. Um, and I'll just include the the basically ten bucks which you have paid already. So again, thanks for watching this video, and if you've got any question, let me know. I'll be happy to reply back. Thanks for watching this video.